RPV 82P flex mount provides heavy duty portrait mounting of 82 inch Samsung displays while adding up to 34 inches of push pull movement for serviceability. In this video, we will outline the typical installation process. Included hardware. The following items are included in every 82P flex mount shipment. One flex arm back wall plate. This is the main mount assembly. It ships and installs fully assembled. Two display adapter plates. The display mates to the mount with the use of display adapter plates. Each adapter plate has two hanging studs that insert into keyhole slots on the face of the wall plate. Eight M8 bolts and washers for attaching the adapter plates to the display. Four 5 16 safety bolts for securing the adapter plates to the mount. One installation guide with illustrated installation steps. Recommended tools and hardware a power drill for drilling holes and driving screws, a tape measure, a 9 16 socket and wrench, a leveling device, a 3 to 4 foot 2 by 4 or similarly straight and rigid ledger with wood screws. For the mounting hardware, 3 8 inch lag bolts are typical for wood framed walls, but RPV does not make any specific recommendations on mounting hardware, type, or frequency of attachment. Consult your structural engineer or general contractor for specific recommendations. Step one, remove the mount from the crate. Note that the display adapter plates may have shipped already attached to the flex arm back wall plate. If so, remove the safety bolts securing the adapter plates to the face of the wall plate. Step two, Measure and mark the installation location. Find and mark the location on the wall where the mount will be installed. Here we marked out the full size of the display and our stud locations. The horizontal and vertical markings on the mount also correspond to the display, so we can align the mount to the center lines of our display markings. Step three, install a temporary support brace. Use a straight two x four or similarly straight and sturdy beam to hold the mount in place while permanent fastener locations are marked. Find the spot on the wall just below the bottom of where the mount should go and secure the brace, making sure it is level. It is important that the support brace be sufficiently reinforced to support the entire weight of the mount while permanent attachments are made. Step 4. Mark final position. Lift the flex arm back wall plate onto the temporary support brace. Shift the wall plate left or right into position using the markings on the mount to gauge alignment. The notch in the mounting hole slots of the wall plate denote the horizontal center, while the base of the triangular cutout denotes the vertical center. These marks also correspond with the display center. Step 5. Install permanent attachments. Double check all measurements and install permanent attachments per your structural engineer or general contractor's specifications. Tighten each fastener manually with a wrench so as to make sure not to over torque. Step six, remove support brace. Step seven, test movement and durability. Move the mount in and out and apply downward force simulating the load of the display. The purpose of this test is to verify that the mount is securely fastened to the wall and that the wall is stable before attempting to attach the display. Step eight, attach display adapter plates. Attach the display adapter plates to the back of the display using the supplied M8 bolts. Note the orientation of the adapter plates with the hanging studs near the center of the display. Step nine, attach display to mount. Carefully move the display into position and attach it by lifting and inserting the hanging studs of the adapter plates into the keyhole slots on the face of the mount. Step 10, install safety bolts. Install the supplied 5 16 safety bolts into the tapped holes located next to the keyhole slots on the face of the mount. These safety bolts will secure the display to the mount and prevent it from dislodging due to seismic activity or accidental force. The bolts also act to pull the adapter plates in and keep the display flush against the face of the mount. Step 11, verify display is plumb and level. Once the safety bolts have been securely tightened, measure at the display to verify it is plumb and level. If it is not level, install shims between the face of the mount and adapter plates or between the adapter plates and display as needed.
Step 12. Install and route cables. Install and route cables with the display in the fully extended service position. This will ensure there is sufficient service length on the cables when the mount is fully extended. Step 13. Flex mount operation. The 82P flex mount utilizes a simple hook and latch retention system. Pull the spring-loaded latch down to release the hook, allowing the mount to flex in and out of position. Lock the mount into closed position by pushing the display all the way back until the hook fully latches. If you have any questions about the installation of this mount, please contact us.